And welcome to what's broken. I picked up uh, my third snow blower in the last two to three weeks. I'm hoping the parts for the the bigger one, the John Deere, get get in today. I did another video on a a yard machine. Uh, I think it was a 22 inch with electric start for a buddy of mine and I just picked this up for my sister it's got uh, 123 cc power more it's just a pull start it doesn't have e-start but uh, last night the guy you know he primed it twice and pulled the cord and it fired right up so he said he's at it about five years doesn't need it anymore etc etc so anyhow one of the issues was or is that the uh, this side cover it's a little cracked here I'll probably epoxy that sand it and epoxy it but the bigger issue is these these uh, sort of spacing holes for bolting it on though probably through work fatigue or plastic fatigue the washer part broke off this one and is on there and then the other mounting hole it looks like the whole stem broke out and it bolts in right there uh, one of the other issues is when the when the belts pull tight this is still really loose so there's no real adjustment on it other than you know this is a spring sort of pulley clutch setup as it were so I want to get the belt off and pick up a new one a proper one you can probably hear the sounds of spring in the background people with blowers and lawnmowers and cutters and whatnot so I do want to change oil and I thought I'd preemptively loosen the plug but each time I try to move it it just starts to round the corners off so I may try a vice grip and if that doesn't work I'll probably just run it for a few minutes to warm it up and then just open the oil fill and tilt it and drain it out that way well, maybe first we'll try a set of the good old vice grips. I got a feeling I'm just going to twist this off or round it off. Yeah, it's it's just rounded. So the keys pushed in, two squirts, chokes on. certainly sounds okay other than that belt being a little loose and and fixing the the protective cover on it fires right up runs good 
Let's see how much of a mess I can make. I don't know if I'll get all of it out this way, but I'm also keeping an eye on the gas cap because I don't really want the gas to start running out through the top of the tank. Well, it looks like it's sealing pretty good. Good, the oil's drained. Got a little funnel here that I had built for some other purpose. Just taped a chunk of hose to it. So that should that should work for this. Won't be able to pour very much at a time. Luckily it won't take too much. Just putting the good stuff in, some synthetic Quaker State 530. It calls for 530. And the valves didn't sound too clackety clack when it was running, so I think I'll leave those well enough alone for now. I think I will drain the carb bowl just to see if there's any water or sediment in it. And I think we're full. Now it looks like the dipstick wants it full just to the bottom of the thread so I'm going to tip it back and just get rid of a little bit of what's in there. Yeah, perfect. Take a look at the oil that was in there. Well, it is dirty. There isn't uh, isn't any metallic swirl or sheen to it, so that's a good sign. Hard to tell if I can smell gas in it or if I'm just smelling gas from it running. Just noticed when I flipped it up that this little blade or edge guard or whatever you call it, it's two sided and the front side is worn off. So I'll let these soak. I want to flip that around and I guess in order to get this belt off you got to take the pulley off stuff a block of wood in there Too bad.
And there we go. We'll buff the rust off of that. Yeah, the numbers are worn off this belt. This uh, idler pulley, when you, it's got a little, little platform or whatever on the end. So when you let off, it also acts as a break against the, against the belt. Yeah, that served its purpose on that side, so I'll just flip it around. Oh, those bearings feel good. They turn freely. Maybe run a wire wheel over this edge too and paint it up with some aluminum paint or something. Okay, that's interesting. This being loose. I had noticed there was a rock stuck in here. And uh, it appears there's two bolt bolts missing out of those holes. So I'm going to go through my stash and see if I got something that'll Probably a little quarter inch should work. So these were threaded on the back side, but given that everything's metric, and I don't have a lot of metric nuts and bolts, I'm just going to drill this out and put a quarter inch through it. That should work. Uh, there we go. Okay, that one's in and it's tight. This one's going to be a little trickier. I think this plastic shroud's going to be... Yeah, it is. It's going to be in the way. Just getting a little sidetracked here for a minute. Pure later just dropped off the parts I was I've been waiting for for about two and a half weeks. spare because they come in twos.
Another governor shaft, that's good. Governor gear. Feels to be the right size. This feels like it should be the head gasket. That looks like the right one. And the last thing should be the uh, sort of the side cover crankcase gasket. And that appears to be the right one. So all the right parts came in. Make sure this is a quarter inch and not some sort of metric. That works. See if I can draw it all the way through. Ah, good. Let's reach up, feel in there. Yeah, the paddles still turn good. Might need this smaller one. See if I cut through enough to just break it off. And take the old file and get rid of the sharp edge. Yeah, nothing left to cut. I think I'll buff this lower edge and just stick some kind of paint on. Because there's a bit of rust showing.
I'm going to take a few minutes and just probably scrape and and uh, wire brush that. Get rid of any of the loose paint and then I'll beautify it a bit. One thing I want to check is now that I put these two bolts back in which pulled this part of the frame back a bit I just want to see if it made enough of a difference on the uh, or if it made any any difference on the belt. I don't know that I would have, but so that belt's riding in there. You know, it's not it doesn't appear to be riding too low. Anyhow, let's Give it a try. Spin this nut back on. Now it does feel a little tighter, but it should be enough. Knock off some of the loose rust and paint, and then I can sort of touch things up. I couldn't find any industrial red in my stuff, so I'll go with the next best color, which is trim clad aluminum. I like it because it seems to flash off really quickly, and it tends to last a long, long time. Just want to get a coating on it to keep some of the weather out. And this should have all summer to cure. So it'll be good and set when the snow season hits.
Now while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I had noticed there's a crack there and it runs to about there. I'm just going to rough this up a little bit inside. I'll go mix up a little bit of JB Weld and just coat that. It'll help hold it together. This should even come out the right color, almost. Well, it's a little bit more gray. But it should work just fine. I'll let that set overnight. So I still have to come up with an idea to fix these bolt holes that broke out. One of the other issues the fella told me was this keeps when you go to try to change direction for the output this will keep popping off. So I think I'm just going to put a layer of epoxy in here as well where these two surfaces meet and then clamp it. Imagine this clipped together or came apart for shipping purposes because once it's on can't really see why you would take it apart. Anyway, having said that, once I'm done here, it won't ever come apart. Just get a clamp on it and Pull that in tight and let it sit overnight. There. It's all rust proofed and beautified. Well I helped it dry a little bit with a uh, ye old heat gun.
Next, I think I'm going to drain the gas. Uh, it's probably got, well, it's almost a full tank. No point in leaving that in there over summer. These hose players, they're the thing. Only got one set or one pair. I'm waiting for them to come on sale at hopefully at Princess Auto or Canadian Tire. Or they do have a, a three piece set, different sizes. Just spilling a little bit of gas. Okay, that'll help get the paint off my hands. So yeah, if I can, if they come on sale, I'd like to get the the three-piece set because I think they go down to about quarter inch. Yeah, this one also says max 10% ethanol, no E85. So probably just run premium in it for the amount that gets used. Well, sounds like it's all drained out. I think I'll get something under this carb and empty the pull the drain plug just to see what color and if any debris comes out. Well, it's the right smell. There's no debris. I'll let it sit for a minute and see if any water gathers in the bottom. I also noticed while moving it that the bolts are missing from the shroud or cover on both sides. So I found some quarter inch that I'm going to make work. Putting lock nuts on these as well, nylocks, just so they don't back out. The other thing I just noticed is this uh, sort of spring pulley or whatever has an extra hole for the setting. So I put it in the top one, and now this belt gets even tighter. It's got about, oh, five-eighths of an inch deflection, so. So that should help. And I let that gas settle out. There's still, still can't see any water in the bottom, no debris, so I think the carburetor system's pretty good. And just another comment, this uh, idler spring, idler pulley that you pull on to make the, the paddles go round and round, it's spring loaded. So even if I got a belt that fit tighter on the pulley system, the spring is still going to only allow so much tension on it. Having said that, the belt looks in good shape. So I'm going to leave everything as is there. So I got playing around with some epoxy last night. And where this had broken out the end, I, I glued the, the end piece back on. And pushed a steel washer inside. And then epoxied it and wiped my finger around to, to get it all to set. And this 
ear tab had broken off so I epoxied it back into place uh, and the other issue is there was a longer sort of one of these spools but it wasn't with the machine so I've I've come up with a plan to repair that and as long as these two holes line up you should be good That one works. And that one will line up. So for this one to get into the to the face, looks like I need about four inches. I started playing around with an idea last night. I've got some 5 16 rod and I started threading the top of it. So the plan is I need four inches to here. So I'm going to set a flat washer just on the inside of that, that uh, guard and then another flat washer on top. I need to thread this down a little further and then cut it off at the right length so I've got four inches to this point so wherever that it's going to be and then I'll cut this off and weld it to the top of this bolt Let's try a regular nut here. And that, leave a little space for the plastic and then a lock nut. So that should work. And that's on. Say about an eighth of an inch. So I'll measure back from just in front of this bottom nut. That's four to there. get set up and do a little tack welding. Okay, gonna do a little sparky sparky tacky tacky. I don't recommend doing this in shorts like I am but you know whatever. Fill your boots. The other trick will be is how out around it is. Doesn't appear too bad. I 
I'll let it cool off a bit and and check it against that it sort of screws in relatively in plane or true or whatever. Yeah, it threads in true enough to to work for what I'm doing. So I'll get a couple more tacks on the alternate sides. This is going to thread in right there. And maybe I can get in from the back and snug it up a bit. Just using a half inch because that's a Pretty much the same as a 13 mil metric. Well, that, that should be snug enough. We'll hang a washer. Washer on there. Well, I think I'll have to grab my Dremel and get rid of this shoulder so I've got a nice round hole. flat washer on there get this one started get this one started on there. Didn't line up perfectly with the hole but I didn't expect it to. Lock nut. There, safe and sound. Well that wraps up this video. I drained the gas out, changed the oil, did the other tweaks and fixes and uh, we'll just cover it up and put it away until the snow flies. Alright, hope you enjoyed this and we'll maybe see you on the next one. Bye for now.